Broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our demonstration of the new Design Manager Cloud Account Management Portal. My name is Brad, and I'll be hosting the demonstration. If you have questions during the webinar, feel free to enter them into the questions pane on your GoToWebinar panel. If the question is outside of the scope of today's discussion, please email them to support at designmanager.com. Lastly, if you miss a portion of the webinar or want to review any of our past discussions, go to our YouTube channel at Design Manager Inc., Design Manager INC. And here you can see all, all sorts of topics, including our quick start videos, short helpful tutorials, and our comprehensive webinars, which we categorize into our project management and accounting courses, along with all of our weekly webinars as well. Now, as I said, today's discussion concerns the new account management portal for DM Cloud users. The account management portal gives you the ability to add or remove cloud users, to configure their initial security settings, send password, reset invitations, and more. Now, we'll begin our demonstration assuming that you or another individual at the firm has already created the initial cloud account. If you have not done so, you should view our new user webinar entitled First Time Design Manager Pro Cloud User, and that's also on our YouTube channel. Now, you can easily access the management portal by going directly to my.designmanager.com. As you can see, That'll take you right to the portal, permitting you have. Also, you can go within your design manager, permitting you have uh, permitting that you have the proper permissions to do so. You can access the account portal on the company information window by going to File in the top left corner, clicking on Company Information and Settings, going to the Users and Securities tab and clicking Account Management Portal button. That will also take you directly there. Now, once I'm on my uh, account portal, I have my username and password that I've already created. Again, that was done when I made my initial account with Design. And I simply click Log In. And here we go. Here's our Account Management Portal. And you can see there's one entry for myself, the administrator, of the account. One of the most common and convenient functions of the manager portal is to easily add a cloud user. Let's walk through that process. All we have to do is click the add a user button. Remember, doing so will increase your monthly charge appropriately as one would imagine. So first we want to do is enter in the user's full name. I'm just gonna put in something fictitious like new user two, but of course you would enter in Brad Martin or John Smith or what have you. Their email address, I'm gonna go ahead and use one of my other email accounts, which I've already saved, and I'll pop that in there for both the email and the confirmation of that email address. Next, you can optionally set the pro class on security set for the new user with one of our pre-configured accounts. Now, simply by hovering over the information node, you can see the definition of all the security schemes, which are listed in the menu below. But I'll quickly go through them as well. Admin, administrator, of course, that's going to provide this user to access to all functions of the Pro Cloud. Bookkeeper able to allow the user to access all reports, the accounts receivable, accounts payable, and general ledger functions, but they cannot add, edit, edit or delete proposals and purchase orders. Designer. Designer can create new projects. They can input specifications. They can create proposals, but not purchase orders. They can also reprint client invoices, but have no access to other accounting functions. Purchaser. Similar to a design manager, both one difference. They can also create projects and input items and components, but they cannot make proposals, but can make purchase orders. And lastly, design assistant. They can view, but not add or edit projects. They can also input specifications and make proposals, but they can't generate purchase orders. And access to any other accounting functions obviously is prevented as well. So this gets your user nicely pre-configured automatically for you. 
Now, you can always further customize the permissions for an individual user account, again, on your company information window, users and security, you can configure any type of the attributes that you would like from here once you've already initially created the security settings. For more information on passwords, permissions, etc., be sure to review our passwords, security settings, and user settings webinar in which I go into great detail on this topic. Okay, now once we've so, uh, selected our security scheme, all I have to do is click send invitation. Again, I'm going to be warned that I will be incurring a charge when adding a user, so I'm going to, going to go ahead and click continue. And provided that the invitation has been sent appropriately and correctly, it'll be indicated as such. Now, I'm going to go over to my other email account, and we can view, just like that, my user invitation has been sent. And there I am, new user two. So for this user, all I'd have to do is click the Create Account button and input the information. My username, I am new user two. My password. my confirmation of the password, and I click complete invitation. Oops. Ah. My username, pardon me, and design user two, and now my password, and my confirmation of the password. And there I go. Just like that, I've already created my new account. So back on our account manager portal, what do we see now? So if we jump over there, I can click back to account manager. And there is my brand new user too as well. Very simple. Just like that, you have full control of adding users to your design manager cloud. Let's take a look at some of the information that we have available for us here. First, on the far right column or columns, you're going to see where you can selectively grant or restrict access to your ProCloud instance or instances. What do I mean by that? Well, some firms have multiple design manager cloud accounts. They may have multiple companies uh, or multiple lines of business they want separated, and they are actual individual ProCloud accounts and you can selectively grant access to any or all of them. Account manager. Now, obviously the administrator account would be uh, designated as the account manager, but I can selectively grant my users the ability to become an account manager as well. Doing so provides access to the account management portal and to all the functions we're describing, including outing users, et cetera. Now, it's very convenient when multiple team members have the ability to access the management portal uh, in order to assist the administrator if, uh, if they are not available and someone needs a new user or a password reset, et cetera. But that does come with quite a bit of responsibility, of course, particularly remembering that adding users incurs fees while disabling or removing uh, users obviously prevents access. Speaking of which, disabling users we can do so with the click of a mouse. Just click the, dis the, the disabled option. You'll be warned, as one would expect. And now my new user two is disabled. So if I try to go in to Design Manager with the brand new uh, mDesign user two account, and I try to log on, I'm immediately alerted that my account has been disabled. So instantaneously, you can revoke access to your ProCloud accounts. As I mentioned previously, first of all, we'll go ahead and enable our user two. And again, upon enabling, re-enabling, you're going to be warned again. We're always warn you when charges will be incurred. As I previously mentioned, uh, if you or a team member ever forget 
the cloud password, you can use the reset password link, which will send a password reset invitation to the specified email. So if user two already forgot their brand new password, we can go ahead and click reset password. We'll be asked to which uh, email address we would like to send the um, password reset invitation. We'll go ahead and use the default. And I'm already notified that I have already sent the email uh, invitation. So if we go over to our, our Outlook, we can see my reset password email has already been received. To reset the password again for user two, they'll just click the reset password option and go ahead and input the new password. There are restrictions here. It can't be very similar to the previous passwords. You still need the complexity of the length of characters, an uppercase character, lowercase character, special character, and number. Oops. And there we go. We've already reset our password just like that. So on our account management portal, we have all the abilities to add and disable new users, to designate them as account managers, to very conveniently send them the reset password invitation. Remember, no one at Design Manager knows your passwords. So this is the only way that you can go and enable a user to reset it themselves and provide the account uh, access to all of the different instances of your cloud account in those cases where there are more than one. And with that, that brings us to the end of our discussion on the Pro Cloud Account Management Portal, where we can go through all of the functions we just described. I thank you all for joining the discussion today, and I hope you attend another of our free webinars in the future. Take care and have a great day.